Ever since add-ons and geometry nodes were introduced to Blender, Blender has become more like a Sims game where everything can be as simple as pressing a button or placing blocks of assets and changing some parameters to make what you want. Of course, modeling is not going anywhere since a lot of generators are built on top of handmade models. But I don't remember the last time a new tool or feature was added to Blender that helps with modeling. And it's not just Blender. Houdini barely has any polygon modeling features. Unreal Engine is focusing more on procedural content generation and Cinema 4D and Max are beefing up their nodes system. So it's getting easier to work with Blender without modeling anything at all. So let's look at some generators and add-on that are helping make that happen. Speaking of Sims, making bridges like this was functionality found in games like SimCity or City Skylines. Not DCCs like Blender. Blender, maybe Houdini, but not Blender. And now that procedure workflow is here. This procedure bridge generator will help you make bridges that takes your terrain geometry into consideration when adding support columns. Number two, Cityscape Pro. A game like SimCity can generate a whole city with buildings, people, and traffic. So why don't we have a generator that can do that? Well, we have one that can do even better, and that is Cyberscape. Cyberscape can produce realistic looking buildings for day and nighttime renders with all the characteristics of a dense metropolitan like heavy traffic, billboards, and more. And if you want to add more detail like large billboards and advertisements, onion signs for close-up shots can use GeoSign Generator. This comes with a number of templates and customizable neon signs. While Cyberscape is a great add-on for creating large cityscapes, if you want really up-close shots for your buildings where you have details like ACs, escape ladders, ground floor, shops, and more, you may want to invest into something like Procedure Alleys. That is going to give you all that control for close-up shots so that you can have a street level cutaway and then your establishing shots or your cityscapes shots can be generated using Cyberscape. Number four, when people think of add-ons and generators, they think of add-ons or generators that create things. What they forget are add-ons that are used to optimize and clean up your geometry, like this instance clean mesh. It's used to repair meshes, correct smoothing, correct normals, optimize the mesh, remove often vertices or bubbles in your mesh, and can also be used to make meshes manifold for 3D printing. You can also use it to clean up object data, to remove unused data and reduce file size, and more. This is especially useful for anyone who does photogrammetry or 3D scanning since most of the mesh comes out needing a lot of cleanup before it can become usable. Number five, a lot of artists are worried that procedural generators are going to replace artists, but that's impossible because first they are made by artists and most generators work off existing models. What they are used for mostly is to add intricate detail that would otherwise not be added because it takes too much time to make or is too complicated to make like this utility pole generator. You can look at renders with electric poles. Most of them are basic and lack detail because they take too much time to add. Unless the electric pole is the focus of the render, it's not going to have this level of detail unless you use a generator like utility pole. Number six, easy smart materials. You have seen procedure textures, you have seen procedure materials. Now let me introduce you to smart materials. The concept of smart materials is most common in applications like Substance Painter. This is where the material takes into consideration things like the thickness of the material, proximity to other meshes, ambient occlusion, normal maps, edge angle, and more. Normally, Blender materials just map whatever material you have onto the geometry without this consideration. But with an add-on like Easy Smart Materials, your renders can look more realistic and you also get more control over the look development of your materials and assets. Number seven, medieval procedure pack. If you are making a medieval environment, consider this generator. This is by the same artist who created procedure castles. So if you have that too, you have a complete set of tools to easily generate detailed medieval worlds. Number eight, aircraft generator. Yes, modeling is fun, but don't you love the power of unlimited variations you get with generators? For example, this generator can create hundreds of procedural aircrafts by just changing a couple of sliders. The materials, texturing, and design are all procedurally generated, so you get aircrafts that look different material-wise and geometry-wise. 
Number nine, MemSaver. While add-ons like Instant Clean optimizes your mesh, MemSaver will speed up your render time by optimizing your materials and textures. It uses a procedural approach to reduce the texture size of objects far away from the camera while retaining the resolution and detail of textures close to the camera, giving you rich detail where it's needed and just enough resolution to maintain the quality of the render for objects that are not the focus of the shot. Number ten forest nodes. Most of the time when you add trees to your scene, they are just background detail that won't get much attention. But sometimes you want the trees to be the main actor of your scene, the focus point. So for something like that, you are going to need more control and flexibility that other add-ons and generators don't provide. You're going to need what the forest nodes generator provides. You get realistic trees with procedurally animated wind at different speeds and different behavior for each type of tree you generate. And you can also use other different forces that come with the add-on. Number 11, Cliff Generator. If you need a procedural way to create cliffs in Blender, this generator can give you a wide range of cliffs that come with rocks, grass, and materials all set up for you. Number 12, Air Dust Generator. If you want detailed animated air dust particles in your scene, I have the right generator for you. This air dust generator adds particles of unique shapes to add more realism to your scene and is a way to admit the air particles. Thank you for watching. Those are some of the add-ons that I think you might find useful for a full list. All links are going to be in the description. But if you are still in the mood to learn more Blender stuff, here are some of my previous tutorials I made on the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.